This is a ground fault interrupter receptacle. Its purpose is to stop power when a small fault of electricity is leaking off of the intended circuit, especially, for instance, when someone is getting shocked. When that happens, a button on it called the reset button will pop out somewhat and power will go dead around the receptacle and in addition will go dead to any other outlets in the house that have been connected to this system by means of screws or terminals at one end of the ground fault interrupter. In this case they are located at this end and they're called the load terminals. The other set of terminals that are on the sides, in this case at the bottom, are called the line terminals and they receive the power of the circuit to this ground fault interrupter in the first place. It used to be that the reset button was a red one and the test button, the other button here, was black. Nowadays they are not colored and it's harder to even notice that the receptacle is a ground fault interrupter type of receptacle. The purpose of the test button is to be sure that the ground fault interrupter will lose power under a condition of a fault and the test button simulates a fault. But normally if you're having trouble with a ground fault interrupter tripping off there's no need to push the test button. You're only trying to get it to reset without tripping again. The test and reset buttons on this ground fault interrupter are sometimes hard to see. You might have to take a flashlight and shine it from the side so that you can be sure which one is which. Once you get used to that, of course, you'll commit it to memory, I'm sure.